Hello, this tutorial will give you a brief overview of softbody physics and the various options available with this feature. So let's start off with this project here, which is embedded in your iClone. You'll notice one difference though, that this time I've changed all the objects to rigid body physics. What I can do to change this back is select both of my cubes by holding down the control button, then entering into the physics settings by using the Shift F9 hotkey or the button at the top right of your stage. Here, all I need to do to change these cubes to soft body is simply click the soft body radio button at the top. Now you'll see immediately the different results. So that's briefly how you can change any object to soft body physics settings. Now what I'm going to demonstrate is the embedded soft body template cloths that are included with iClone 5. These can be found down in the soft section of the physics prop directory. I'm going to demonstrate one here to give you an idea of how to use these for the function of colliding with other objects. So I'm just going to quickly import in the 64 by 64 cloth, which is the most detailed and will have the softest draping result. I'll rotate and reposition it directly above my silver sphere here. If I use the R hotkey, I can toggle the scale tool and therefore scale my cloth to look a bit more like a flag, which is what I want it to look like. After that, I'll simply play back, and you will see that the cloth will fall and hang on the ball, but there will be severe material breakthrough, which we definitely don't want. To fix this, let's first go into the physics properties and adjust a few things on this cloth. The first thing I'm going to adjust is the damping, which essentially means there will be more resistance to the object's movement, giving the calculations more time to process. Setting solver iterations up as well will create more detailed calculations, producing an often better result, although the animation may be slower. Probably the most important thing when dealing with soft body collisions though, is the collision margin. If this is high, that means that there is more safety space between your soft body object and the object it's colliding with. I'll put that up to 7 and then check on my results. You can see that the cloth will fall and slowly drape over the metal sphere with no material breakage. What I can do to make the effect cooler is to add a diffuse texture onto my cloth. I'll just scroll down on the modify panel to the right and double click the diffuse swatch. Now take a look at the results with the flag texture. Pretty cool right? Go try it out with your own flag. If it has a little bit of dirt or texture on it, it will look great.